this is your host David Yanez and you're watching Ignite Your Day. And I hope that those words are powerful in your life every day to ignite your day. It is important for you to realize that you need to ignite your day with testimonies, with words of faith, with scriptures, with believing that God will change things, believing God will move things, believing God will take things that seem like they're going off the chart and bring them back into the Word of God and into the faith that God has brought us. Well, I've been hoping that my friends will also bless you, the Malcolm Burton, Donald Rawls, and Ginger Usher. They, they, they host for me periodically, and I have a couple of more coming that we're going to be able to host these shows for us and get, get these airways blowing up with faith and just doing amazing, amazing things. Uh, today you get me, and that's a blessing because I just got back from Peru, and I've just had some amazing, amazing mission trips. I'm always tired when I come back from mission trips, but I'm always excited about what God is doing and how God is doing it. I know that for sure, that God is is moving and changing things on for me every day. Every day that I'm out there, God is doing something amazing on my behalf, and I want to tell you that no matter where I go, I know God's with me. No matter where I'm at, I know he's with me. I know that no matter what, he's going to uphold me with his right hand. In fact, I have a scripture I'd love to read to you right now. It's called, it's in Isaiah 41.10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Amen. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand. I love that scripture. It's an amazing scripture. Every time I go into an, another country, every time I go to another place I haven't been before, I believe that I do not fear. I believe that he is with me. I believe that he's moving on my behalf. That no matter what, his hands are with me. His angels are with me. His authority is with me. And one thing that I've been noticing, I don't know if everyone has this in their services or if it's something that... that happens all the time other places but I'm, I've heard of it before and I've been seeing gold I've been seeing gold dust in people's hands gold dust on their hands those sparkles after I pray for a whole group in fact I was in and just just in in Peru and preaching at a large church in the city of Lima downtown Lima and it's called Central District I was over there pre preaching in this service I had everybody get their cell phones out I say, get your cell phones out. No, don't take a picture of me, unless you want one. <laughs> don't take a picture of me. But I want you to turn the light on on your cell phones. And I want you to, to turn that light towards your hands. And I want you to tell me if you see sparkles in your hands. And if you do, I want you to pick your hands up. So I did that. And I've never done that in a service before. But we've been seeing gold touch everybody from lunch. We're having lunch, and people start getting gold in their hands. We, we start having, uh, we had dinner, gold was there. We were at a service, and people got gold on their hands after I prayed for them. So I said, you know what? Let's let's go another step. Let's see how many in this service have gold in their hands right now. Everybody in that sanctuary eventually picked up their hands. Once they explained it, what they were doing, I lost them. <laughs> These people are talking left and right, saying, hey, 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 look what's happening, look what's happening. And I shared that on an episode of previously and in, in, in South Africa, how I lost the whole house. Everybody got gold and they're just excited. Forget about what we're talking about. Forget about the food. Everybody was just interested in the gold. And it was amazing to see all these uh, Peruvians just seeing gold and gold everywhere and just excited. So finally, I got them back. Finally, I, was, I brought them back in. I said, you know what? Let me tell you what this gold does. It just means the presence of God is with us. It means the presence of God is with us. It means no matter where we're at, God's with us. Now, I'm going to show you an example right now of, of the gold that came in my hand got about a year ago, maybe more than a year ago. And that gold is a big chunk of nuggets, as you can see. That is amazing authority. Now, the gold that everyone else gets is not that big. But it does show sparkles. In fact, I was preaching in that same church the next time I came back. And on the wall, there was gold. On the wall, the gold just came down. It was just sparkling down the wall. Now, there was some glitter there previously, the pastor admitted, but the gold overtook the glitter. No mistake in which was the gold. The gold could not be moved. It was there. But people also used to get emeralds. In, in, in South Africa, this man actually got a black emerald just come right up, just opened up. I seen his skin open up, and the emerald came right out on top of his hands and sparkling 
And it was amazing to see all the people in South Africa get blessed. It was amazing to see the people in Mexico get blessed. In fact, um, several people after I prayed on my last service had gold in their hands. They were just looking with their phones. So that service in Peru, I was like, you know what? Let me see how many people are actually getting this. Not to bring any glory to me. No, 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 no. Not to say, hey, look what I've done. But to say, hey, God is here. Now, if God is here, don't you think he can heal you? If God is here, don't you think he can move mightily on your behalf? Because I know where I go, God is with me. This is proof again that God is with me. In fact, some of you may get your cell phones out right now and check your hands. You may be getting some gold, some sparkles in your hands. I said, you know what else the gold represents besides just being God's presence? I said, it represents the angels of God are with us. Because the angels are the ones that bring the gold for God. God don't have to carry anything. Angels are bringing gold left and right, walking by. Your hands are anointed and blessed. In fact, it'll come on your face. It'll come on your neck. It'll be all over your body. People in South Africa went home and they had gold on their linen, gold on their beds, gold on their on their furniture. Even some people got gold, got gold on their cubicles. In fact, before I went back to South Africa a week before, they said, I know Dr. Yannis is coming. Some of the people were saying, saying this because they found gold in their hands, gold on their cubicles at work, gold the week before I got there, the gold returned. I'm going to tell you this only because God is amazing. God is powerful. Because God is a God of wonders. Amen. That is a wonder. We don't seek it. If it happens, it happens. Praise God. I just decided that day to go ahead and, and, and see if everyone else were seeing the same thing that I was seeing in my hand before service. Because now even before I go preach, I will see gold in my hands. Before I even go minister, I'm at the hotel. There was gold in my hands already. So I knew God was going to do something that night. And when I was about to preach at that church in, in uh, Peru, that big church, my last service I did in the Sunday morning, I had gold sitting by the pastor. I had gold. I touched his hand. He had gold. The lady that was translated for me, or she, or that was my, my personal translator for my conversations, not for the preaching, she had gold. And then my translator that preached with me afterwards had gold. It's amazing to see what God does, how God just brings his wonders to life. How God just does amazing, amazing, wonderful things and shows that he's with you. This scripture right here, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with thy right hand of my righteousness. That scripture right there is an amazing, amazing scripture. Why? It's his promise. Fear not, he's with you. Fear not, he's with you. So every time I go into a new country, every time I go to a new city, I, I thank God because of the, the gold that I do see. I thank God because um, I see these things happen. And he's with me. Now, before that, I'm still confident. I'm still confident. I know he's with me. But, you know, we read a lot of scriptures. We pray a lot. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's good just to get something tangible and say, wow, this is really happening. God is awesome. It's great to believe in faith. And we all do it. But sometimes it just gives you a little refreshing that God is here. We'll be back in just a minute. We're gonna believe God for some amazing things that happen in the next second and third episode, and we're gonna segment and we're gonna see God move. We'll be right back. Hi, this is David Yannis, and I want to thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Today I want to offer you some very special collections of books that are mine personally that I want to give to you. I'm gonna offer you Ignite Your Faith, the book that has been all over the world and has touched people all over the world. It's about healings, miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm also gonna offer you the CD. Ignite Your Faith, which is not an audio book, but three healing services. These healing services have been anointed, blessed, and record them in Sid Ross Studios. And many people have been blessed with testimonies of deliverance and healing. And I'm also going to offer you The Recruit and Almost Out of Grace, my other two books. These are my first two books. Uh, the Recruit's about me when I was in the military and about divine revelation of miracles and healing while I was in there, intervention by God. And Almost Out of Grace is a book about relationships and both men and women have been so blessed with it that has touched their lives we're gonna offer this offer it's called ignite offer number 148 for fifty dollars or more for fifty dollars or more we're gonna send you all four product you're gonna be blessed with them you're gonna be encouraged with them and most of all you're gonna help move this ministry forward god bless you remember you can go to our special website you can go to give us a call or you can write us Give us a call, go to our special website, or write us, include, if you write or call, mention 148 or write down 148 Ignite so we know which package to send you. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening to our broadcast.
Hi, this is your host, David Yannis, and I'm back. We're going to do another segment here. We're going to believe God is with you, like we are talking before in the first hour, first segment, that God is with you no matter where you're at. Isaiah 41.10, Fear not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be thou not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Thank God that he's with us. I talked to you in the first segment a little bit about some gold that was happening and touching people's lives and how people were getting this this amazing, amazing thing, this wander that was happening. And, and it's just nothing for anything else for me but to say, hey, God's with me. I've been blessed to see this same miracle or the same, not even a miracle, but more of a wonder. The same wonder happened in everywhere that I've gone. Um, it started in Los Angeles, I think. It actually started in Hawaii. Or well, we noticed it in Hawaii. Then it went to Los Angeles. We started seeing it. But then I had a um, that gold nugget, which I'll show you again right now, that nugget in my hands. And then after that, every service I preached, there's been some gold. Every restaurant I've been at with friends after service or even talking about the Lord. Whenever I just talk about God, the gold comes up. I told you that the last service that we had in, in, in Peru, I had people take out their phones and use the light to just look at their hands and Sometimes you got for me. I have to take off these and look down like that, and I and I will see it. And 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 it's, and it's interesting. And even some now, um, yeah, I have some right right now. Praise God. But anyway, little gold sparkles will come on and stuff like that. Um, it's amazing to see that. And what I always just kind of put it together as is that God is with me. I I mean, He's with me. He's with me. He's with me. He's He's part of me. I'm part of him. I'm constantly working for his work. I'm constantly sharing the gospel. I'm constantly believing for miracles. I'm constantly called upon to pray. He's with me. It's amazing to see. You know, I went to Laredo for the first time about a year ago. I have to go preach a service. And they were excited. They seen me on, on the episode of Sid Roth. And, and they said, hey, we want you to come do a healing service. So I went out there, held a healing service. They never had a big healing service like that before. They've had other meetings and stuff. But they expected me to bring it. But do you know what? God was there already. Some amazing miracles happened in that service. Some amazing miracles happened. And, and I got to tell you that it's just, it's, I'm humbled. I am humbled to see God move. There was a lady that went home after service. Didn't even pray for her. Didn't even lay hands on her. She went home. She called the pastor. And she had flat feet all her life. She took off her shoes at home. And now she had arches. God had healed her flat feet. Her flat feet. And I, w I was no, not even near her laying hands on her, but she heard the service, her faith was ignited, expectation was there, and God healed her. It's an amazing, an amazing testimony. Um, another call from the pastor told me that a lady that I prayed for in service went home to check on her husband. Now, her husband had been sick many times, had been hurt many times. He, When he was a kid, he fell off, um, oh my goodness, he fell off a, a, a roof. He got hit by a bus. Um, and then this last thing, he fell off a construction roof. Anyway, I think I had to pray for the guy's eyes or something. But anyway, he, uh, she went home because he was completely in pain, not able to do anything, not able to make things happen in his life because he's always on this pain medicine and always, always being challenged with physical issues. He couldn't hold down a job. But after I prayed for his wife, he went home. She went home. Her husband was in no more pain. Her husband was able to move around. He was excited about God. He's excited about what God was doing. He wasn't even in service. But see, God is with you. God is with you. Even, even coming into service, praying and interceding for someone else, God is with you. He's able to move on your behalf. He's able to change things on your behalf. He's able to do things on your behalf. It's amazing because that same testimony, you know, that's amazing testimony. The guy's body's messed up and everything. Well, in San Diego, I was preaching in San Diego, and my goodness, that was such a big service that we had not even expecting uh, look at me i'm the preacher i'm not I, i'm coming to san diego for the second time i first time i had it in a little um in a little uh, hotel conference room we had about 40 people if that if we counted everybody twice maybe we had 40 <laughs> it's probably like 25 and people came in for service people came in and a lot of times i just pitch my tent i just say god i'm gonna be there i'm gonna believe it i'm gonna go and people come people show up people come to the services God draws them. But there was a, the second time went Pastor Billy and, and his wife, uh, Pastor Mar Mar Marcella, both asked me to come over and uh, tell you how God does it. I was literally about to pay for the advertisement 
and signing the contract with the hotel again, which was very expensive. And I was about to do this again. And I'm saying, you know what, God, I just keep going. You said just to keep going. Not worry about the expense, but to keep going. And by faith, I'm believing God's going to do it. By faith, I'm believing God's going to change things. The minute I'm about to send out the, the Facebook ads and start paying and send the contract that I already signed over to the hotel, Billy, Pastor Billy calls me, or his wife calls me. And she says, hey, we feel that you're supposed to be here. We feel you're supposed to come use our service for your for your for our building for your services. Can you preach for us on Sunday morning as well? I'm like, Absolutely. So Saturday night we had my service. Sunday morning we had we had um, their service in the morning. Well, when I get into that place now, mind you, I was already oh goodness, we left Los Angeles with my friends. They tend to take a little while to get ready, so we left a little later than we wanted to. I wanted to leave really early so we get to the hotel and check in. There was so much, it's like the most beautiful day in Los Angeles. And if you're ever going through Los Angeles, the most beautiful day in Los Angeles, there will always be beautiful traffic everywhere. And there's traffic on the 405, traffic go, to go up towards, to get to uh, the 5, to get to, to head towards San Diego. It was so much traffic. It was, it was, it was a lot of, I mean, I had to send out prayer requests because we're supposed to be there in, you know, San Diego, LA, two, two and a half hours. But in traffic, it was six hours. And I'm like, and I, we have plenty of time, but we're, that time was shrinking really quick. But you know, God goes before you. God moves before you. God does things before you. And uh, I had all my prayer partners praying. It wasn't until I got the text from Jack, Pastor Jack in Louisiana. And he just said, brother, it's done. Can you think of that? Brother, it's done. You've got to preach. You have to be there. The enemy's not going to keep you from being there to preach. It's done. Don't worry about it. So I left it in his hands. I left it in the Lord's hands. And I just prayed. And I just prayed and said, God, I know you got this. I know this is easy for you. I know this is not difficult. I know things are going to change. And you know what? That little GPS that we use turned from red to yellow. The time started to slide down until it turned green. And we, we got there five minutes before I had to preach. <laughs> well, anyway... Thank God. I just actually, I think I threw this shirt on or a shirt similar and, and, I, and I just grabbed a coat and I just ran inside to preach. Well, the pastor showed up and, and, and he was there. I was there before him. He showed up and the place was packed from wall to wall, 500 plus people in this church. And I said, man, pastor, this is amazing. Your church is amazing. These people are wonderful. He goes, I don't know these people. I said, what? I don't know these people. These are my people. My people, I said not to come tonight. Only the praise and worship team and only the catchers and ministry altar workers. They all came out to see you, son. I was humbled. I was humbled. I get a bigger draw in San Diego than I do anywhere else in California. And I seen that. I said, Lord, I'm just humbled. I'm humbled that you would draw these people. But the Bible says that he will go before you, that he's with you, that he moves mightily on your behalf. It's amazing. Well, in that service, there was a man that was the same situation as that guy in Laredo. Pain, aches, can't work, can't move, so much medicine in him, can't keep a job, can't do anything. All right. Healed. Healed. You hear it once, you hear it twice, the same testimonies. It's amazing to see this happen in different places of the world. Now, I like to say that once you've seen a healing happen or a miracle happen, it's almost like you got faith for it to happen again, which, I mean, I know that miracles happen regardless. Of, they're going to happen. The miracles are going to happen however God wants them to happen. But when I see something healed like cancer and I pray on someone with cancer, I'm excited because I've seen it healed many times. I know it can be done. When I see someone healed like this man with just his body crushed and his bones hurting and pain and suffering, well, I know it could be done because I've seen it done in Laredo. Now I've seen it done in San Diego. And I've seen it done around the world. With people with pain, body pain, aches so bad that they can't even move. I seen God move in miraculous ways. I know God's gonna move for you. We'll be right back in just in just a few minutes. We'll be right back. God bless you. Stay tuned for our last second. Again, I want to invite you to one of our healing services. Please visit our website, find out more details. But we have services all over the United States and literally 
all over the world. We have gone through South Africa, Kenya, India, Mexico, Peru. We are all over the United States from Los Angeles to Florida, all the way up to Nashville to Wisconsin, all the way down to Texas. We have several services in Texas. Louisiana, we've been there and we're going back. Nashville, we've been there and we're going back. Hawaii, we're going back. I want you to go to our website, find some place that you can get to so we can pray for you. If you can't make it, just believe. Send me a prayer request. I will try my best to answer you. I do text back. I do email back. I do make phone calls back. I do write back. So if you write me personally, call me. I will try my best to get back to you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching our broadcast. Remember, go to our website to find out more details about our healing services. God bless you. Welcome back to the show. This is your host, Dave Gannis, and we're excited to see what God is doing and moving and mightily on your behalf. The last couple of segments, we talked a lot about God is with you. We gave you Isaiah 40, 41, 10, and we talked about different miracles of how God is just moving on your behalf. But what I want to talk to you right now, just a short six minutes or seven minutes here that we have left, and that is that God is able to move according to your faith. Now, my sister-in-law has a daughter, um, and she's been suffering with the tumor. Now, I've had many services around the, around the area where she lived and also around the places where she moved to as well. Um, but none of these services that I've ever seen my, my in-law bring my niece to the service. Now, I'm, I'm, if you ask for me, I'll pray. And I'm praying for her. I'm praying right now even that she gets healed and is delivered miraculously. But God will move according to your faith. God will move according to how you step out in faith. So the day came when she didn't have to have surgery. My wife asked if I was going to go because normally I don't like going to hospitals and praying for people because I just don't feel that I don't feel that the faith is there most of the time when I walk in, even though I stir up the room, I pray for the people. Not the best results always happen. So I'm like, well, I don't know. So the day, the day came actually that we we're leaving and she was leaving already to go to the hospital. I said, I'll, I jumped in the car. I said, I'll drive. And she's like, I thought you weren't going to come. I go, well, if anything, I owe this girl is my faith to believe that she's going to be healed. So I walked into the hospital in the waiting room. I think my, my in-laws were surprised I was there. And I, I sat down with them and I talked to them for a few minutes and just and just sat back. I waited for the, the right opportunity to, to pray for everybody and to believe. And as I was sitting there, you know, I just keep seeing the little numbers on the screen that show you the patient's number and the patient's situation and She's about to go into surgery. And so I'm just, I'm believing with them. I'm talking with them and, and, and just believing. And then, and then someone pointed to me that was sitting there. And then her, one of her in-laws pointed to me and says, you're a preacher. Well, that's all I needed. I needed the door open. He said, you're a preacher. What do you think? I go, well, I can tell you this. I can tell you this. Um, my aunt called me just a few days ago when she was in the hospital. As she was in the hospital, the doctors wanted to treat her for this and treat her for that. She didn't want dialysis. She seen it take her husband and drain him. So she just she refused a lot of the services, her heart, her lungs, her kidneys. Even her legs were swollen. She said, I just need my, my, my nephew to call me. Once my nephew calls me, I'll be fine. She had faith. For years, I prayed for my aunt. For years, my aunt has prayed for me. In fact, her phone number is, is considered the prayer line in our in our in our family. <laughs> you dial that number, you're on the prayer line with my aunt. So I called her and talked to her for a few minutes, encouraged her, and she said, she goes, son, just pray. So I just prayed. You know, the next day I'm going through a store with my mom with my wife, and my mom calls me and tells me a real miracle happened. Now all these things are real miracles, but when it happens for my mom's part of the family, it's a real miracle. So anyway. I said, what happened? She goes, your aunt walked out of the hospital. Her legs weren't swollen. Her kidneys were fine. Her heart was fine. Her lungs were fine. The doctor could not explain it. And they let her go. So I'm telling, I mean, praise God. I'm telling these people this story. I go, do you know why that happens? I asked this gentleman that asked me if I was a preacher. He said, why? I said, because God is with me. When I walk with God, he's with me. When I walk outside, he's with me. When I walked through this hospital, angels were with me. When I walked through these doors, those angels are going to and fro, ministering to the needs of the people. When I sit down, his authority is with me. And I believe right now, and I prayed over my niece. I said a prayer. 
that the surgery won't take as long, that our healing will happen soon, and that God will move on her behalf mightily. My, my, my um, sister-in-law was just crying. I don't do this to convict anyone. I don't do this to say, hey, I'm over here, you're over there. No, I do this because I believe God will move mightily on your behalf if you just reach out to him. If you just believe, God will do it. God will change it. God will move things for you and for your family. I hope you got something today. I hope that things change. And by the way, my niece came out fine and, and uh, she's just taking medicine now and, and things look good for her. So praise God. I'm still believing for total healing. But sometimes you just got to bring faith into the situation. Sometimes you just got to make people realize that God is an amazing God. In fact, that day I prayed for everybody in that room at one time. So let's all pray for those that are in operation right now. I let everybody, I'm not shy. I let everybody in prayer. I'm not shy to pray for God and to believe. I love God. I love what he does. And I love that he's changing your lives. So let's believe God's going to move and change things. And he's with you no matter wherever you go. He said he will lift you up with his right hand of righteousness. Amen. God bless you. I'll catch you next time on Ignite Your Day. Hi, this is David Yannis. I want to thank you so much for listening to our broadcast. Today I want to offer you some very special collections of books that are mine personally that I want to give to you. I'm going to offer you Ignite Your Faith, the book that has been all over the world and has touched people all over the world. It's about healings, miracles, signs and wonders. I'm also going to offer you the CD Ignite Your Faith, which is not an audio book, but three healing services. These healing services have been anointed, blessed, and record them in Sid Ross Studios. And many people have been blessed with testimonies of deliverance and healing. And I'm also going to offer you The Recruit and Almost Out of Grace, my other two books. These are my first two books. Uh, the Recruit's about me when I was in the military and about divine revelation of miracles and healing while I was in there, intervention by God. And Almost Out of Grace is a book about relationships and both men and women have been so blessed with it that has touched their lives we're gonna offer this offer it's called ignite offer number 148 for 50 dollars or more for 50 dollars or more we're gonna send you all four product you're gonna be blessed with them you're